on the last video. Get back here. Give me them digits. And so it continues. Man, this place was far. It took almost all day. So this is the place. Looks like the school's abandoned. No one around. Though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's take a look. Why is every place you go to abandoned? Julius Stone Law School. Set for demolition, no entry. Hey, this is the school from that leaflet. Then maybe he is here after all. Maybe. I'm gonna look over here. Doesn't really go anywhere else. Going inside. How did I switch like that? I don't know. Fire extinguisher. Okay. Uh, right. In. Shiny thing. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key. Got the infirmary key. Okay, now I can go get bandages. Paper reads a notice about keys. Room managers for the month. Don't lose the keys. Parlor, Stacy Lizzie. Reference room, Ray Twain. Lecture halls, John Keith. Computer room, Franz Moore. Lecture room, Cindy Peterson. Storehouse, ugh, McGuire. I don't know how to say that guy's real name. Cardboard box full of equipment. Fire hydrant again. Okay. Well, I have the parlor key then. Whatever the parlor is. The hair, hair salon parlor? Nah. Men's bathroom. You? That's the lecture hall. Okay. And girls bathroom. Okay. You. Paper. A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. I have a feeling I'm gonna be going into that fissure. It's gonna be my hole. It was made for me. Nothing inside. Or there. How about this thing? Unless the faculty. Criminal Law, John Keith. Civil Law, Andrew Robinson. International Law, Cindy Peterson. Criminology, Franz Moore. Philosophy of Law, Lefty Lewis. Legal History, Ray Twain. Comparative Jewish Prudence, Ugh, McGuire. Dr. Stacy Lizzie. I really gotta learn how to say that guy's name. Contains cleaning tools. Okay. Probably for cleaning out your ear in case you get bullshit in him. There's the infirmary. I guess I'll take a nap. Good night. Get the fuck up. Book about medical treatment. Oh, found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Oh, right. Okay, that makes sense, because it was talking about who has the keys, and she had the key for the infirmary, so she must have left it there. Gotcha. So, parlor key. Wherever the parlor is. There are multiple floors, so I'm going to assume it's one of these. Ew. Basement bookshelves is blocked from the other side. Probably by books. Storeroom. Okay. So that's where storeroom and block stuff is. Hello. Ugh. Was someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. It's not that dark, man. It's pretty visible. But we're not gonna follow him. Look at this. Trash can's empty. Fine. You. Yeah. Reference room. Okay, I don't got that. This computer room? Wait. Why don't I try to open these doors? Parlor, here we go. I got the key for this. Uh, clock. No. Is that a broken key? Uh huh? That's a good question. What is this? I guess it's wire art or something. It looks like it's just telling me LOL. In cursive. I don't like it. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, though. Hmm. Apparently it was made by Ray Twain. One of the lecturers. Ray, you have a weird sense of art. 
This is why you're in law school and not art. Jeez. Alright, well, hmm. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go follow that shadowy figure. He'll know what to do. He'll be like, yeah, man, follow me. And then he'll dash away and I won't be able to see him because it's so freaking dark. Where am I? This. Fine. You. Trash can? Overflowing. All the other ones are empty. Lots of books. This. Box of tools. The whole box would be too heavy to take. I could probably take two tools from this. Oh. Ah. Uh, crowbar. Probably gonna need a screwdriver. Okay. I'll come back if I need something else. Okay, need it. I need it, I mean noted. You? You. Fine. What was that? Lefty Lewis. Okay. There's a paper about topics covered by an exam. Don't need it. Ugh. Hmm. Hey, this place is broken into. An open security box. You gonna put your hand in it? I guess it's empty. Okay. Books. Trash can. Things. Not necessary. Audi. Alright. So. Upstairs again. Yeah, this is pretty tall school. You. Security box that requires a passcode. Code. Code. Hang on. Hang on. Whose room is this? Ray Twain. Okay, that's the guy who made the thing. This is some other code. So, it was... It, it looked like it was low, and then LOL, and then... L -l 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 -l. So... How do I put all of that together to make this? Um... Do I add them? Maybe? No. I'll try. So it would be three... Two, one? Two... One. No. Alright. Hmm. Hang on, what's this? Looks like some sort of diary. Indeed, Law 2 needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, zero or one can represent much more complex numbers. Oh. Uh... Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem. Though, perhaps it's more of an artistic notion that captivates me more than mathematics. You didn't really help me that much. Books? You? Oh, here we go. Why does this law school have math books? I'm terrible at math. I'm... I'm pretty shit too, man. There we go. This is what I needed. Oh, it was binary. Duh. I... I'll be here a while. Alright. So the first number is two. Got it. Second number is five. Got it. And then the last number. I thought the last one was just. Hmm. Maybe it was 11. I might have missed a zero. No, no, it's 15. I didn't even see that one. Alright. So, I'm sitting here drinking a fucking drink while being fucking smart as shit. Alright, okay, so, 2, 5, 15, alright, uh, 2, 5, 15, god damn it, I'm fucking smart, not really, it contained the key to the reference room, okay, I'm gonna go, oh, wait, computer, uh, no power, damn, there's no fun in that, powerless computer's Friggin' useless. 
Yo. Ah, another box. Security box, another passcode. God darn it. Nothing in the refrigerator? Yo. Some sort of diary. Michelle's dissertation made it into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. Oh, it's probably not Michelle, is it? That's another way to spell Michael. Huh. I knew when he joined my class he'd be a prodigy. I also realized he and I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a security code, so I feel like maybe I should change it. Well, that's kind of obvious what it is. Now I just gotta figure out your birthday. Jeez, how old are you? Give me your birthday. Birthday in the fridge? No, I've already been in the fridge. No birthdays in there. No any holidays in your freaking fridge. Alright, you. Andrew Robinson. Wait, six bitch Jesus, there's so many numbers in this one. John Keith. Sparkle Keith. Documents are strewn on the desk. The key to the room is among them. Got the key to John Keith's room. But I already opened the room. It's some sort of notebook. Times are changing. Our existing laws are no use anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. John Keith, you're fucking weird. Security box that requires a passcode. Son of a bitch. Alright, fine. Why are you guys so freaking complicated with your goddamn numbers? Whatever. I'm downstairs. Well, okay. Walk. Ow. Hey, who was that? Good lord, you're like from Kingdom Hearts. Who do you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? Sh shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name, or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Huh, you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. Well, technically, David, you are taking random bullshit that you're finding on the ground, so... You might be a robber. You have tools in your pocket. What do you want, a permit? Now you tell me who you are if you're gonna ask me. I'm D. I graduated from this school. So I came to bring back some memories. D. That's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but... It's a nickname, dummy. You'd think I'd tell you some shit. You'd think I'd tell some shady guy my real name? Pfft. <laughs> what a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I have things! I have evidence of my thievery! Look at my pockets! You can see a crowbar sticking out! I'm just wondering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. God damn it, Gary D. What the hell's his problem? Didn't even apologize. He pisses me off. Ah, it's just D. His uncle doesn't even love him that much. I got really lucky with that door, actually. I had no idea where I was going. Hey, a book. They say that people despise those who think similarly to them, or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred. Though they are two-faced deep down, they can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. I never understood this philosophy stuff. Why don't you just dislike people you don't like? You just met a guy you don't like. This is fucking relevant, sir. A record of books checked in and out. Don't care. Picture. George Wythe. I like that name. 1726 to 1806. Mm hmm. Ah. A signatory of the Declaration of Independence. He is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first classes in jurisprudence. Jurisprudence. Juris Juris it's attached to the wall, but the screw's a little loose. If I, I have the right tool. 
Use it. Screwdriver. Unscrew the screw hole in the portrait. The writing behind this. 1647. Is it a code for something? Glad I took the screwdriver. Though I'm not sure it'll be useful again. Of course it'll be useful. You can stab a man in the eye with it. It'll be perfect. I know it's been some new arrivals and the like. Don't care. You? What is this? The shelves in the basement are for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must sign a form and be accompanied by staff. Taking any materials out is prohibited. Go in. An elevator for carrying books to the basement. There's no power so it doesn't work. Alright. Go replace the screwdriver with a hammer. Because odds are you don't need the screwdriver anymore because he even said so. I think it's in here though. Right? Yeah, that's it. So which it. Yep. Take the hammer. And crowbar. Okay. Yep, you will. Alright, 1647. What was that for? One of those several many boxes I know exist. So, start checking. This door. This door doesn't have it. This is the door that had the little, little, little... I need to go... Upstairs again, I think. Okay. So, wait. What about this? I don't need freaking mops. You. Security box passcode. I don't put the passcode in that one, then. Oh, that one was for the birthday. Okay. You. Passcode here. Take my passcode. 1647. There we go. It contained the key to the lecture hallway. I know where that is. I'm going. Okay! Why do you do these things? I don't understand you. I see freaking hands. Where? What? Fuck me sideways! Why is it here? Back in the hotel, I... I thought I killed it. Damn it. I'll think about it later. I gotta run. Yeah, probably. Because I haven't saved and I can't save now! Fuck! Uh, hammer. 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 Hammer? Shit. Fuck, man! How do I... Crowbar! Fuck! Get over get, get over here! Come on! Come on! Okay. Bye. No! Fuck you! I gotta do everything over again! I hate you so much, you fucking dick. I was literally just about to save before that happened. I knew something was gonna happen. I fucking knew it! God damn it! I'm still in the middle of getting back to where I was, but I kind of found this book and I don't think I did it, so... I lost the note with my security box password, thus I couldn't get into the computer room. And the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow. I should go look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget. But that's risky. But if you just use whatever, then you have my problem. Well, back to doing everything again. Let's go see D. Thank you. Hi, crooked man. I don't quite know what you want me to do, though. Um, books. Got more books. I don't got any more books for you. Do you want me to read you a notebook? Times are changing. I... I'm reading this to you if you'd like this beautiful poetry here. Our existing laws are no use anymore. We must surpass the father of our law and find the true answer. Guess you don't like literature. Bye. Why did I expect anything different? Hmm. Trash can. That went terrible. I, I don't know what you want me to do, crooked man. Crooked man, you're being a little prick right now. I really can't do anything to you right now, either. God damn it. God damn it. Get... See these? Hear them? It's sweet tarts. You don't get any, because you're a prick. Ass.
Oh, the window. Can I jump out the window? Look at the window. Look at the window. Can I jump out that window? Jump out the window. Crowbar. Jump. Hammer the window. David. <sighs> David, you're fucking worthless. Hey. Hey, crooked man. The following is not of my own demise. I'm cheating you. Check it. And key. There we go. I can't believe I didn't realize I could have done that. I'm not bullshitting you either, man. I didn't think of that. I looked that up on the internet. I 100% used a walkthrough to figure that out. Anyway, back to David. Surely that'll keep him in. Surely. I mean, woo. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel. And the hotel's hours away, isn't it? He could really be following me. Why? How? Damn it. This is making me nuts. Or am I already going crazy? Am I just hallucinating this thing? Then again, it did attack Sissy. So it can't be my imagination. It exists. Monster that it is. D. If that monster's here, I have to warn D. Tell him he's gotta get out of here. You know... David, your name starts with D, but that's irrelevant. Call the fucking police, you friggin' imbecile. Eh, whatever, you're dumb. I got a key for somewhere. What did I get a key for? Lecture hallway key. That would be first floor and middle room. D, I don't know where you are. I'll find you. Probably not. Lecture hallway key. That's a lot of rooms. Keel is painted over. Oh, that seems some. Hey! Man, a sitcom or what? Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Today, we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of which will be graduating from this school, and we owe a great debt to it. Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. <laughs> but these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams. I'll fucking toast to that. Let's go. <sighs> Thanks. To our yet unsure futures. And may we have God's grace. Nah, whatever you say. D. How did you get into this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Huh? You forget I'm a graduate here. I know all the secret ways, dummy. Huh. Well. What were you listening to? A tape? Yeah. For my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I was getting nostalgic for the place, and even abandoned. It really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. Huh? You graduated, but you're still studying. Hey, lay off. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam. So I'm cramming at home now. You little bishy. Next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. 
There were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed in one shot. Being a lawyer has been my dream since I was a kid. So I was so happy when I got accepted here. Felt I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time. Anymore, and I'll be way behind my classmates. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a... monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering an abandoned school, but... Damn. You really are nuts, huh? Seriously, a monster. Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total divas. Do you enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm much older than... <coughs> don't quarrel with me, alright? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You'd be no match for me. Ugh. Do what you want. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah. I will do what I like. Thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my alma mater. I don't know what alma mater means. Hey. Paul. I... I got in. What? Really? You got in? To flight school? That's crazy. David, I can't even do a handstand. You can do whatever you put your mind to. <sighs> Thanks. But it isn't making me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I'd love to fly above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not gonna fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. I wonder if D is like that. Is this a game about you meeting people who have similar past experiences as yourself? and further becoming a better man because of what you go with through them and their experiences with the crooked man? Is this a game of growing? Are we gonna grow into straight man? Nothing wrong with being crooked, by the way.